It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. I want to make this video, guys, just to show you that not everything goes perfectly over here. So last I received this homebrew game, Battle Toads, in Street of Rage number two. And yeah, you understand, I was quite disappointed. And don't get me wrong, it goes very well when buying stuff from China. But sometimes this happens and I just wanted to show you. What the hell happened, I have no idea. Because we had two parts broken off, but look at this. What happened? It, it, it looked like somebody opened it up or I don't know what's going on with this. But yeah, so in this video, I'm going to rip out the PCB. We're going to stick it in my Hyperkin Sega Mega Drive. And we're going to play some Street of Rage. But before we can play, we just need to open it up and rip the PCB out. But there was one thing that I did notice with this cartridge. So when you're looking at the PCB, hmm, this cartridge was way more expensive than all the other versions that I bought. And the main reason is very simple. As you can see over here, they are using a completely different PCB. In my previous videos, I did review quite some different homebrew cards, and most of them have these very cheap and very horrible, you know, let's say homebrew card versions with a lot of plastic. But you can see that the PCB quality is way better than this previous review that I made. In other words, let's take a closer look at the game and let's see what we're going to get. All right, so with this game, they did some changes with the intro. <laughs> That's the first thing that we're going to look at is they changed the font of the text itself and they changed out the intro with the character. Like Mr. X is completely green, as you can see. <laughs> it's like more, he's like the Hulk. I think they did it because of the battle toads are green. And it's a funny detail to change it out. But let's take a close look at the title screen. So the hack had been released by Xandra in 2017 and has the extra text battle toads and double dragon. All right, the font over here is also changed. We're having survival mode. It's very cool to play with together with your body. But let's go to the play one because I wanted to show you the character selection screen. Okay, so we can play all the characters from, let's say, the battle toad and also the enemies. But they did not do a full mode. So in other words, we can still play with some normal enemies from the Street of Rage game. I think it's a pretty cool mod, but we're going to try out some enemies and see how they are playing in game and. Are the enemies even fun to play with? That's something we're going to find out. So the first character in many characters they changed out is Pimple. Pimple is a very cool character to play with. It's very powerful, but he is really slow and that is something that is pretty damn annoying. So it's more like similar with Max and I I think I did hear some sound effects from the original characters. That's something I don't really like. But okay, so let's enjoy the gameplay and let's see what we can do. So next up, let's check out Billy from the Double Dragon franchise. And I think this is one of the better characters to play with. And the reason why, because of the speed. But the moveset itself is very limited. If you're looking at the previous character I've checked out. Billy is a fun character. I don't know what the hell with that, but the power move is more like the Taudukan. He's pressing forward, forward, and the punch. You can see you have this knee attack, or tiger knee. But in the end, it's very limited what you can do. So like the previous battle toad, Sits is really slow. And what I do like about these characters, they can still grab the original weapons and it looks not really bad. But when you're looking at the moveset, it's very limited again. This move is pretty cool. Four and four points. <laughs> and it's more like the battle toad way. You can hit multiple enemies very easily this way. But in the end, when you're looking at this character, you only have a couple of moves. And it's not, in my opinion, a really big fun to play with this guy. Alright. 
Okay, so next up is my favorite, Rash from the Battletoads. He is a really great character to play with. He has amazing speed in the game. And not to forget his shoe that will kick ass. In the end, it's a very fun character to play with. And this is where I'm thinking the best character you can get at this moment for the Battletoads homebrew game or hacked version. As you can see, we have a lot of speed. It's still glitching out a little bit. Some things are not like it should be. But in the end, I think it's not a big of a deal. It's a fun check to play with and we got a lot of speed and I like it. Okay, so let's try Jimmy, but I can already spell that Jimmy is basically the same like the other Double Dragon character. The moveset is very similar, and that's something that I think is a little bit of a bummer. When you look in the same with the battle toes, there were some let's say, minor differences, but with the characters from Double Dragon, you can see even the power moves of the Hadouken version is exactly the same. So, the Jimmy and the other Double Dragon characters are more or less the favorite characters you can play with in this game. Okay, so let's focus now on the enemies and what can we do with it. I'm just going to be honest, all the characters are very basic, like with the original characters or the enemies that you can play with the Syndicate version. When you're having, having a couple of moves or maybe one, most of them can even, can't even jump. So it's pretty annoying to play with these guys, but especially for you, I just wanted to check it out. So fun fact, at this moment I was just glitching out, they couldn't hit me and I was stuck, so I need to reset the game. So okay, let's go to the next character. Okay, so next up, let's see what we can do with the survival mode. Yeah, you know what? Just survive. Together or alone. Okay, so even if the game is not complete, I just wanted to try it out for you guys and see how the homebrew game was. So this is just a homebrew game where you're going to get the Battletoad characters. But I always hate when they're replacing, let's say, the original characters. That we're only having all the homebrews and all the extra stuff. But yeah, it's a fun hack. I just wanted to show you here on the channel. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit the little bell. And I'll see you in the next video.